So you have just received your new checkpoint appliance and you want to start to use it. If you check the quick start guide for your specific appliance, if you don't have the paper copy that comes with your appliance box, there is an SK called 96246, which have the quick start guides for all of the appliances that are available as of today. So if we scroll down here in the quick start guide, we will see here that the first step is of course to connect the power cables. If you have multiple power supplies to your appliance, connect both of them because they will make sound if you don't have both connected and that's really annoying. And then the next step is of course to check and verify that you have the, the right box and document the serial number of the appliance where you have placed it in the rack. If you have multiple appliances, you need to be sure which box is placed in which rack. And this you can see on the tag on the appliance and it will be different location depending on what sort of appliance you have. This will also have a QR code where you can get the get started guide. And the next step would be to connect your PC to the management port. All checkpoint appliances come with a predefined IP address on the management port itself. Then you will need to set these parameters on your uh, PC and then connect to the web portal with this IP address to be able to run the first time wizard. If you have a light out management, you can of course change the IP address of the uh, management port. So my recommendation will actually be to configure the light out management port first. So you're able to do everything like this remotely. So you don't need to be physically at the location. So if you connect with a console cable to your appliance, you're able to log in with admin admin and it will be prompting you to do the first time wizard. You can also change the management IP address of the box if you want to. So we can do show configuration and it will list set interface management IPv4 address. So if you want to use a different interface or if you want to use a different IP address, you can set this in CLI. So I will just show you how to change this to a different IP address. I will just change it to three instead. So I will scroll down and then you can do set interface. You need to type out the full command so you can type out the full command with tabbing and it's capital sensitive. So if I try to write management like this and type tab, it doesn't work. So I need to do capital M for management. And if I do tab after them, I can see what sort of commands will be able to, to write. So in this case, it will be IP V4, and then I can hit tab to, to fulfill the command. And I will put in the, the IP address 192.168.1.3 space, and I put, can put tab again, and it will show me what is the next available command. So mask, I will do subnet tab and put the subnet mask zero and tab. And if it doesn't show anything, the command is finished and just press enter. So if I open Google Chrome, we will see if we are able to reach this and I change it to dot three and just press advance, continue and admin, admin. And you will get to the first down wizard and you will see what sort of platform this is. So this will be the first, this will be the same first time wizard for open servers, for software or for uh, appliances. So just click next and you are able to just continue with standard standard or if you already have some snapshots or you have some configuration on a USB memory, you can import it. So we will do continue and then we are able to change the admin password. Of course, write this down in a system. So next. And here we have the management interface itself and I will remove the default gateway because I will not use this management port for accessing the, the internet. You need to think about if you need the default gateway here because you still need to be able to reach it to change things. So 
I will just hit next. And I know that I will have internet for this specific one. So I will take uh, manual. And I will just put in what I'm planning to have as uh, internet interface. Uh, next. And here you can change the, the name for your, your firewall. So I will just put CP Gateway 02. And DNS servers, I will just use Google for this uh, sense. Then you should use an NTP server. I don't have an NTP server, so I will just put manually. And here you're able to select what sort of product you want to install on this specific appliance. So this specific appliance is by default a gateway. So it's already pre-selected as a gateway. You are able to install a management station on the same box. I wouldn't recommend it. I always recommend to have the management station on a separate box. So security gateway. And we always build as clusters because we want to have dual devices on each location. And within R81 and R81.20, the latest and greatest that you can have is cluster Excel. Within R82, there is a new cluster method called, cluster, called Elastic Excel. So that is possible to use within later versions. This is highly recommended. And if you don't uh, use this, you will have a lot of, uh, I would say, issues. Uh, so you need to consider to, to actually use this. As stated, highly recommended. So SICK is the one-time password that you use to connect the management station to the security gateway or to the firewall, so to say. Because remember, you're controlling the firewall from the security management server. So you're putting all the configurations such as firewall rules within Smart Console that is on your security management server and then you push it to your gateway. So when we have done this, um, this first time wizard, we'll still need to connect it to the security management server. And that's why we have the SICK. So this you can remove if you don't want to send data to checkpoint and it will install this as a security gateway. Yes, I want to continue. So, so now the first time wizard is done. So just hit OK. And you will be uh, entering the Gaia portal. So within the Gaia portal, you can change the interface names, the routing, DNS, NTP. Um, and you can configure stuff for the box itself. As I said, you're not able to configure firewall rules here. This you need to do from the smart console. And the smart console connect to the smart manager. So the manager connect to the security gateway, the firewall. And you connect the security management server and the security gateway with the SICK key. And this is one time password that, I, that we put in within the first time wizard. So I think that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next one. Take care.